Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here, and to conclude our second round of Titans Return Months, although we may do some more in the future, but right now this will be the end of it for a while, and we're taking a look at Sky Shadow. Now Sky Shadow is another toy that many of us in the G1 continuity may not be familiar with. Sky Shadow was a Japanese exclusive in his original run in the Japanese continuity, but he was called Blue Shadow over there, and the original toy was a repaint of the toy we got here in America known as Thunderwing, one of the m Mega Pretenders. So, this is a nice way to bring him back into a modern audience and give him some more exposure to the world. However, he's also a retooled toy since Overlord also uses a very similar mold. But we've already reviewed Overlord from this wave, and I thought you guys might like to see and learn about a new character. In the old continuity, Blue Shadow was considered a gangster as literal as the literal translation of his function from the Japanese text literally became Space Gangster. So, he is quite a shady character that apparently even the Decepticons really don't like working with. Maybe he just has yet to make them an offer they can't refuse. At any rate, they've changed his origins a bit for this toy. As the box he came in lists him as a thief who will sell his skills to the highest bidder. His partner, Ominous, his head, is the ultimate hacker that can access security systems of battle stations, space bridges, and even transformers. So definitely a nasty character to deal with. But of course, if you also have been collecting the card game, Wave 5, the Titans Return expansion, you got this guy. So now you can at least see what he looks like as a toy. As you can see, he's pretty big. He is one of the larger ones. Let's see. Leader class. So yeah, he was a big toy. I got this one relatively cheap at an Ollie's when they were marking them all down. So, for anybody who's ever wondered how can I afford to get many of these... There's my secret. Buy cheap whenever possible. Now at any rate, we'll take a look at his articulation. Sky Shadow can turn his head from side to side. The head isn't designed to go up and down. He can raise his arms up about so far. And the arm does rotate all the way around, provided his weapons don't catch on his wings. Hey, we said there was rules out here. Don't make me get the ion gun. He can also bend his arms at the elbow about 90 degrees, if he can get it to stay out far enough. The arm can also swivel at the bicep, so he is a large figure with G.I. Joe battle grip. Due to the way he's designed, he cannot be twisted at the hips, but, as you can see, he can lean back pretty easily. He can spread his legs apart into a full split. We can raise his legs up at the knee, up at the leg roughly close to 90 degrees, and he can bend his leg at the knee 
about 90 degrees. So, Sky Shadow here does have quite a range of movement. And also the cannons at his shoulder can be adjusted. Now we'll take a look at his accessories, starting with the piece he threw at me. This is apparently intended to be a canopy of sorts. It does have a slightly adjustable stalk here at the bottom, so you can adjust it. And we'll see how that fits onto the toy in the alternate modes. But basically in the robot mode, it can double as either a miniature shield or even a sword. Next up, we have this gun. Which is the same style of gun that came with Overlord. Except it's painted in a different color. So this will be the gun used in the tank mode. And then of course when we pop the top here, we can remove Ominous. We just flip him up and over. And here you go folks, this is Ominous. Who, as we said, is the ultimate hacker. Ominous can move like a normal Titan Master. You can pivot his head from left to right. You can raise the arm at the shoulder about 90 degrees. You can bend his legs at the hip 90 degrees. And he can bend his knees 90 degrees. So now, now that we got all the parts removed, we're going to break Sky Shadow down into his alternate modes and have a look. Okay, first thing we have up here is his city mode. And it's okay, I guess. All of them of the leader class like this in the Titan's Return line, their third mode was... Something of a city component that can be combined as well with the Titans of the series. Titans Return was the only line so far that had two Titans released in it. Fortress Maximus and Trypticon. So I imagine you can make an impressive city with them. I'm not sure of that due to the fact that I do not have Fortress Maximus. That and I'm quite sure I don't have everybody in the leader class for this. I do have one other one that I haven't shown you guys, but I believe there's another one that I don't have. And of course, as stated earlier, I don't have Fortress Maximus. Mainly because Fortress Maximus was not sold at Ollie's. That's how I got Trypticon. Now, of course, Ominous, if we want, we can hide him right here in the tank turret, in the partial tank turret. Or as well, since there are little hole, little posts positioned everywhere around here. Ominous can be made to stand, or any other Titan Master really, can be made to stand anywhere like, see, we've got him here on a wing. Or we can even go further and stand him on the arm, way in the back. There's even a couple up here on the other side of the tank portion. Come on, stand there. And more than likely, not nope, there isn't any in the transparent spot there, but he can sit there and man the gun, should he wish to. <laughs> it's an interesting mode, and it does allow for enhanced playability. I will give it that much. Now let's get him broken down into the other two modes. 
Now, of course, here they are in their alternate modes of a tank and a jet fighter. Judging from the red and black colors, they almost seem to take some inspiration from some classic G.I. Joe toys. As the tank mode, almost with its black and red color scheme, reminds me of the Crimson Assault Tank that was a Sears exclusive back in the day. And the jet here, the red and black colors, harken back to the Night Raven. But all in all, these are essentially the same toys that were used for Overlord. So let's, let's get the airplane out of the way for a second. We'll just look at the tank. The tank itself is on fake treads. It has three wheels underneath it. So how does it roll? Rolls pretty darn good, actually. And of course, due to the way that the tank is designed, the turret does not rotate, so that is a shame. But we do have an opening cockpit over here for Ominous to sit in, or any other Titan Master. They just got to be folded up into head mode in order to fit. We'll take him out of there for a moment. And then we'll bring over the jet. Of course, I mean, the underside of the jet is obviously not the side you want to look at, but the top portion is definitely imposing. The shoulder cannons do work out well by being shifted forward to being the ship's main guns. The gold here on the back is a nice splash of color on here. I like that. And, of course, it does have an opening cockpit for in which Ominous can ride in. And of course, they also do have another combined feature that was seen a fair amount of times in the Super God Master Force anime with Overlord in the fact that the tank and jet can connect together in this mode. And granted, while that does look kind of on the dumb side, it is a nice feature to have. And if you're an adult collector, you may choose to display it like this. It is a very snug connection. And I'm giving this thing a good shake and it's not coming off, so... If you've got it secured on right, that's, that's a snug connection there. At any rate, we get down to my thoughts. What do I think of Sky Shadow? Sky Shadow's a good toy all around. I mean, yes, granted, he and Overlord share a lot of the same similarities in terms of how they transform and such. But with Sky Shadow, they went a little differently by giving us this extra nose piece here for the plane. So we get something different out of him, at least. The color schemes on him, they are impressive. They do look good for a toy of his caliber. And to add with it... All the modes do look pretty good. The robot is nice, tall, and imposing. The airplane does look wickedly fierce. The tank, while you can't turn the turret, it's still a fairly nice toy. All in all, the city mode, well, that's the hardest to judge. Especially when you don't have a complete way to make the city come alive. So that one, if I gotta say Sky Shadow has a weak spot, it's the city mode. But that's only because I can't build a full city and show it to all of you. Hopefully that will happen one day, but for now we'll just have to make do without it. But all in all, this is a fairly good toy. And it does bring a relatively obscure character back into the mainstream. And especially now that he's getting a chance to be in the card game, he's definitely going to get more exposure to fans across the world. 
and I hope that I've done a little bit of my part in introducing a lot of you to this character. Granted, his original one was just a repaint of another toy, but I think he's moved beyond that and is starting to become his own thing. And that concludes my review of the Titans Return version of Sky Shadow. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like this video, drop me a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button down below to join our ranks. And ring the bell so you'll be notified when we post new content. Please also consider sharing this video with your friends and fellow collectors. That's what helps this channel grow. And share your thoughts about Sky Shadow in the comments down below. This is Sparkster1701 saying that I will catch you all later.